Howdy friends, this is Mike, I'm an adventure and a dad. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about this Ice Co. JP30 12 volt fridge. Ice Co. makes the JP fridge in three sizes, 30 liter, 40 liter, and 50 liter. This is the 40 liter or 43 quart fridge. It's 12 volt, it runs off of a cigarette lighter. I have it plugged into a Jackery right now and now that it's up to temperature, it runs about two watts. I've got a C-Cup or a Danfoss compressor, just like the more expensive fridges from ARB or Dometic, and it's got three levels of battery protection. One of the nicest things about having a fridge is that I loaded this Thursday night before we left on Friday afternoon. So all the food went in, didn't have to do anything, none of that last minute shuffle trying to remember what you forgot. So I'm gonna tell you all about the features and everything about this. Just a quick note, Iceco did send me this for review. I'm supplying them with uh, a video review on my channel. They don't get to review it. They don't get to say, um, they don't get a, to say in what I say about it. Um, and I'm not under any obligation to say anything in particular about it, just that I'm making a review. I am also supplying them with some photographs that they can use in their marketing um, in exchange for this fridge. The fridge retails for about 400 bucks. So it is literally about half the price of a Dometic or uh, an ARB fridge or any of the high-end fridges um, while it's got pretty comparable electronics, mechanicals, and performance. We've been using our Canyon Cooler 55-quart hard cooler for camping trips, and that can hold enough food for a four or five day overlanding trip. But we usually put at least six quarts of ice in it, so it's closer to 49-quart actual usable space. It's still a little bit more than this 43-quart fridge, but you can see that you really need to subtract the ice space when comparing a fridge size to a cooler size. This Iceco fridge, of course, comes with a 12 volt power plug, which is what I have it plugged into now into the truck. Um, but it also comes with this 12 volt extension that has put the socket in here and then you put that socket in your car. Um, most fridges don't come with this. My Dometic didn't come with this. Um, it also comes with a power uh, AC adapter and it's just like an AC adapter you'd have with your computer, your monitor, or anything. It also comes with this transit bag, which is like a perfect fit. Insula ex it provides excellent extra insulation and protection, and then it has these cutouts for the airflow for the compressor and cutouts for the handles. I haven't tested this yet, but I'll put it on and show you what it looks like. So all in all, the JP30 from Iceco comes with some nice accessories that you don't get from other brands. The fridge has two cooling modes. In the max mode, it'll get to temperature faster using more power. In eco mode, it runs at lower power. I found that if you get the fridge up to temp, either on 110 power or on max mode, and fill it with cold food and drinks, then you can set it to eco for the rest of the trip. The fridge, like most similar fridges, comes with this wire basket inside. It has a divider and you can take it out to fill it up or empty it out. If you have the fridge strapped down like I do here, it's handy to be able to do that. Power usage is going to vary depending on what the fridge is doing. If it's going from warm to cold, it may pull up to 55 watts in max mode or 33 watts in eco mode. Once it reaches operating temperatures, it'll draw 1 to 2 watts with the lid closed. With the lid open, it'll probably draw 5 to 10 watts from what I've observed. Sometimes I run the fridge on this Jackery 300 watt battery pack that I can charge from the inverter in the Tacoma or the 12 volt outlet that I have in the bed. The battery will power the fridge for more than 24 hours when fully charged, and it charges when I'm driving. Either way, the fridge will easily run continuously with the battery if you remember to charge it now and then. I also have a solar panel to charge the Jackery. It'll run forever because the panel makes more power in a day than the fridge will use in a day, at least until it gets hot. What if you don't have a Jackery? Can you still run this fridge? Well, yes. Fridges like this come with battery protection. This one comes with three-stage dynamic battery protection. What that means is that it'll run the battery down to 9.6 volts in low protection mode, 10.1 volts in medium mode, and 11.1 volt in high. So using the medium or high protection setting, you can run the fridge off your car battery and be sure you still have enough power to start your car. The fridge seems to be built quite well. Compared to similar high-end products, it has a simpler user interface with less options and less tech. There's no Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or app. For me, that's a pro. I don't really see the need for that stuff. I certainly don't need to use my phone to check on the fridge from the driver's seat. 
Whether the Control Electronics are as good or better than other high-end fridges, I couldn't say. All right, well, uh, I hope you have learned something about this fridge and fridges in general with this video. I can say that after having used it for a couple of weeks, I do think it's a pretty good unit. It seems to work really well, use very little bit of power, keeps everything especially really cold. Um, and my brother-in-law has one in his van he's been using for a couple of years, and he really likes it. And also, um, the guys at Kraft Auto Works really recommend these um, as well. So I've got the Transit back on it right now. It's all zip shut. It doesn't have a logo on the outside. I really wish, I mean, I Iceco really should put some sort of a logo on it. There's a clear um, opening at the top there where you can see the um, controls. So if you have any questions, post down in the comments. I'll try to get answers for you. Otherwise, enjoy camping this summer and happy trails. Bye-bye.